عن ابن عباس رضي الله عنهما قال قدم رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم المدينة. So Abdullah ibn Abbas he says that the messenger of Allah came to the city of Medina. فوجد اليهود يصومون يوم عاشوراء. So he found that the Jews there they were fasting on the day of عاشوراء, which is the tenth of Muharram, which is tomorrow. فسؤلوا عن ذلك. So they were asked about that. فقالوا هذا اليوم الذي أظهر الله فيه موسى وبني إسرائيل على فرعون. He said, they said that this was the day which Allah gave victory to Prophet Musa and the children of Israel against Fir'aun, against the Pharaoh. So we fast on this day as an honor and a commemoration of that. So the Prophet said, نَحْنُ أَوْلَى بِمُوسَى مِنْكُمْ He said, we are closer to Prophet Musa than you people are, when he's speaking to the Jews. We have more of a right to Prophet Musa than you do. So he commanded the Muslims that they should be fasting. And when it says commanded, meaning that he advised the Muslims to fast on this day. This hadith is narrated by Imam Muslim. So tomorrow, tomorrow is the 10th of Muharram. It's the day of Ashura, the day in which is highly recommended to fast. So anyone who's able to fast, you should make the intention, wake up early in the morning, have your sukkah, have a little early morning breakfast, and you should be fasting on that day. And inshallah, tomorrow evening, we will actually be having uh, an iftar uh, here at the masjid. There's, we're going to have one or two food trucks coming. I don't know what they are, but they're going to be coming inshallah. Or you could bring your own, you know, sometimes the food trucks, there's a really long line. You know, I've learned my lesson, so I'm bringing my own food. But if you want to take a risk, you want to go with the food truck, you can go ahead and do that, or bring your own food, and we can all eat together, inshallah. And after we're done with dinner, I'll have a short talk about uh, the story of Prophet Musa and how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saved him. And I'll also have a little talk about what happened at Karbala and the martyrdom of uh, Hussein ibn Ali and why there's some confusion about do we celebrate or do we mourn this day? What's the reasoning behind that? What happened in history? So I'll be talking briefly about that as well, inshallah, after dinner. Uh, so hopefully we'll see you tomorrow and make sure you wake up your family and remind your family about the importance of fasting tomorrow as well. Yeah, so you don't have to do two. So it's recommended if you do an extra day before or an extra day after, there's a hadith about that. The Prophet Wasallam. He also said, this is the hadith I was going to mention here. He said, if I were next year, I plan on fasting on the 9th of Muharram as well. But he passed away before that happened. So this was the last year of his life. He said, I would fast on the 9th next year, but he never actually did it. So some of the scholars say it's recommended to also fast on the 9th day as well. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to do this. Ameen. Wa sallallahu wa sallam wa Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. And if anyone ever has any questions about this, you can always come and approach me. I'm here usually four or five prayers out of the day. So just come and ask me any questions, inshallah, I can help answer them. Assalamu alaikum.